Hello mga ka-mathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell right over there. Welcome to another episode of Challenging, Exciting, Fun, and Interesting Math Lessons. This is Sir Oliver, your cool math teacher for today. Our topic is all about Learning objective, add fractions with like and unlike denominators. In today's video lesson, I will be teaching you on how to add similar fractions and dissimilar fractions. So this lesson is applicable in our real-life situation. So before we discuss the mathematical concept of adding fractions, so let us consider this situation. Liliana was born as half Filipino, half Indian girl. During the current pandemic, she was asked by her mother to take charge in preparing bread that will be given to their neighbors. She received 21 fourths kilos of flour from her grandmother and 13 halves kilos of flour from her aunt Ishtar. How many kilos of flour did she receive altogether? So again, the question is, how many kilos of flour did Liliana receive altogether? We have here the word altogether. So therefore, the operation involved is addition. To help Liliana's problem, stay focused and go with me as we explore the new lesson that we will be discussing today. So we have the addition of fractions, mathematical concept, if A, B, C are integers and B, is not equal to 0, then A over B plus C over B equals to A plus C over B. So basically, that will be the concept on how we can add fractions. So let's start with addition of similar fractions. So when we say similar fractions, these are fractions with the same denominators. So, yung denominators ay makikita natin sa ibaba ng fraction sign. So, we're in yung dalawang fractions na, na i-add natin ay magkatulad ng denominators. So, what are the steps to add similar fractions? 1. Add the numerators and copy the denominator. Again, this is for similar fractions. Kapag pares ng denominator, just copy the denominator and add the numerators. Then, 2. Express your answer in lowest term if possible. So, if there are common factors, so we can cancel it out para makuha yung lowest term or reduced form ng fraction. So, yun lamang yung dalawang steps na tatandaan natin in adding similar fractions. So, let's start with example 1. 3 fourths plus 4. Four fourths. So we're in ang ating denominator i4. We just copy it, copy it, and then you just add the numerator. Three plus four is seven. So our answer is seven fourths. Okay. So let's have our example two. Five six plus one sixth. Again, we have the same denominator which is 6. We just copy it, copy it and then we just add the numerator. 5 plus 1 is 6. So 6 divided 6 is 1 whole. So therefore, our answer is 1. Then for our last example, 2 twelfths plus 1 twelfths. Again, we just copy the denominator which is 12. Then 2 plus 1 is 3. So, 3 twelfths. So, we're in there is a common factor which is 3. So, we can write the numerator as 1 times 3. Then, the denominator 12, 4 times 3. So, we can cancel 3. That is the common factor of 3 and 12. Therefore, the reduced form of 3 twelfths is 1 fourth. And that will be our final answer. So, as easy as that on how we can add similar fractions or fractions having like denominators, now we will be moving on addition of the similar fractions. 
So when we say dissimilar fractions, these are fractions having different denominators. Ngayon naman, paano tayo makakapag-add ng fractions kapag magkaiba ng denominators? So what will be the steps that we need to follow to get the correct answer? To add dissimilar fractions, so these are the steps that we need to follow. One, find the least common denominator or the LCD. So, kuhanin natin yung pinakamababa na pwedeng i-divide sa denominators without remainder. Two, the LCD will be the new denominator. Divide it by the given denominator and multiply it to the given numerator. Then, you will have similar fractions. So, don't worry in our example, ipapakita natin kung paano makukuha yung sa step 2 na pag-divide at pag-multiply para maging similar fractions yung ating given. Okay, and for our last step, since similar fractions na siya, we need to follow the steps in adding similar fractions. So, I will be giving you examples and then i-apply natin yung steps in adding the similar fractions. Example 1. 1 12th plus 4 6. So, kung mapapansin nyo, we have a different denominator. Yung isa ay 12, yung isa ay 6. We need to get the LCD. And the LCD of 12 and 6, ano yung pinakamababa na pwedeng i-divide sa dalawa, is 12. So, ngayon naman, paano natin nakuha yung numerator? So, sinabi dun sa ating step 2, we need to divide the denominator, so 12, divide 12, then times the numerator. Since 12 divides 12 is 1, times 1, so kaya 1 na lang yung nakuha doon sa numerator. Then the other way, dun sa 4 is 6, 12 divide 6 is 2, kaya yun yung multiply natin sa 4. So that's why it will become 2 times 4. So, naintindihan, we just divide and then multiply it by the numerator. Then, simplify 1 plus 2 times 4 is 8 over 12. Then, we just add the numerator since similar fractions na siya. And then, we just copy the denominator 12. So, 1 plus 8 is 9 over 12. Then, we need to reduce it in lowest terms. So, the common factor is 3. So, we can write 9 as 3 times 3 and 12 as 4 times 3. Then, cancelled. Then, our final answer is 3 fourths. So, let us move on our next example. 3 fourths plus 2 over 16. So, we will do the same process as example 1. 4 and 16, the LCD is 16. Okay. So, 16 divided by 4 is 4. So, that's why the numerator will become 3 times 4. So, with, with 2 over 16, so 16 divided 16 is 1 times 2, that is 2. So, kaya nakuha natin yung 3 times 4 plus 2 doon sa numerator. Equals 3 times 4 is 12 plus 2 over 12. Then, we just add the numerator. 12 plus 2 is 14 over 12. And then, there is a common factor which is 2, so we can write 14 as 7 times 2. And 12, we can write is as 6 times 2, then cancel. So, the answer is 7, 6. So, I hope that you learned something on how we can add fractions having like and unlike denominators. So, don't forget to follow the steps that I've discussed. To answer example now, it's our time to answer the given problem. So, ang given natin ay 21 over 4. That will be the kilos of flour from her grandmother and 13 halves kilos of flour from her aunt Ishtar. So, therefore, probably we need to add the two fractions given. So, that is adding the similar fractions. So, for our solution, 21 over 4 plus 13 over 2 to get the total flour that she receives. So, ang ating LCD ay 4. So, we divide. 4 divides 4 is 4 times 21 is 21. So, dun sa 13 halves, so you have 4 divides 2 is 2. So, yun yung multiply natin sa 13. Then, 21 plus 13 times 2 is 26 over 4. And then, we just add that is 47 over 4. Or, ginawa lang natin mixed fraction that is 11 and 3 fourths. So, therefore, Liliana receives a total of 47 over 4 or 11 3 fourths kilos of flour. So, that's one of the applications of additional fractions in real life situations. So, it's your time to get your pen and paper. 
to do our activity for the day. So thank you for watching our video lesson. So that's all for our video. I hope that you learned something. In learning mathematics, two important things that you need to remember, focus and practice. See you on my next video. Thanks for watching.